Hello everyone and welcome to a new video MC Mora here and today I wanted to give you some tips on how to fight against Guile Now I'm going to tell you something and it's probably not what you wanted to hear But you are likely not going to beat Guile in a long set And I think except you are playing a character that is specifically built to anti-zone Like say Minat or maybe Balrog I think everyone else in the cast will probably lose a long set to Guile. If you're playing like a first to ten, you know, more than that, or just play in lounge versus a Guile a lot, you will most likely lose. And that's because Guile as a character is built in a way that you have to take risks versus him when you are fighting him. If you want to play completely safe, I'm gonna say that 70% of the cast don't actually have any chance of beating him. If they play completely safe. You're gonna have to jump, you're gonna have to dash, you're gonna have to sweep, hope for the crush counter, stuff like that. So anyways, enough of that, and let's start about the general strategy of what do you want to do versus Guile. And I know this is kinda weird, but you want to stand right about here when you're fighting Guile. This range in particular, it's I know it's awkward, and I know it's gonna feel uncomfortable for you, but you have to understand that it's also going to feel uncomfortable for him. And why do I say that? Because this is a range where most of Guile normals will whiff, except maybe his Sobat. So if we are standing here, that will whiff, heavy bunch will whiff, medium kick whiff, crouchy medium kick whiffs. So he's gonna have to either Sobat forward or backward. And if you're Mook, like say, if we say from this range, for example, and let's have it here, and he does a Sobat, right? Let's have Guile do that again. You can get away with punish from spacing like that. And what are his other options? Maybe from a range like this, he can maybe do this, the forward heavy punch. And that is fine and dandy. If he does the forward heavy punch, and you happen to be crouching, you, at least at bare minimum, you actually get something like a, like a Tatsu or something like that. Even if you don't, he will block and you will get the initiative and get the hit. So this range is awkward for Guile. Maybe what else can he do? Maybe he can sweep. Maybe let's have Guile sweep. Now we're talking right about here. So let's have Guile sweep here. And of course the sweep is very dangerous on block. He's gonna get hit for a ton of damage. So I know this range is not very comfortable for you. But here is why I want you to play from this range. When you're this close to Guile. You have multiple things to threaten him with. Of course, it all depends on your character. And this, again, there is nothing that covers all, but I wanted to give you some general idea. When you're fighting from a spacing like this, Guile is most likely, most likely, he's gonna be holding down back. Right? This is gonna be what's most likely happening. He's gonna be holding down back and he's gonna be spamming his medium kick. That will not most likely happen. So when Guile is doing this, and let's have him do that. Let's actually have him do that. Maybe he will keep spamming this. Because that's what a lot of Guiles will do. From a range like this, when you're right about here, you are threatening like a crush counter sweep. You are threatening a jump. And of course he can flash kick this. But for with some characters like say this, for example, you can do something like the axe kick. With and, and you have to know that something like the crush counter sweep is actually real like you can get a sweep here And that's what I was talking about it being uncomfortable because you are going to have to take risks and He's gonna either do a medium kick or he's gonna boom But if he decided to go for the booms, this is also where you can get a jump in on him Because from spacing like that You also get the jump here or you can threat a woke up throw or you can dash and throw it's all gonna depend on your character and the ease of the matchup versus Guile for most of the cast in my opinion Depends on how good or bad the character is at this range and how good are your options from this spacing From a spot like that a character like Bison is amazing This is alright This is strong from a spacing like this because he can wave punish with that he have this attack he has a crouching medium kick. This is really good from spacing like this. Other characters, like say the Shotos, are gonna struggle a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm now going to show you some options that some of the characters can have from this range, and what you can do with it to threaten Guile. And 
And since uh, we have already established that we want to fight from a spacing like that, now I wanted to talk about some of the interactions that might happen and how to think about them. So from a spacing like that, like we said, you have the option to threaten the jump, you have the option to threaten the dash, and you can walk up throw, right? Or do like a sweep or something. Um, so first let's talk about what happens if you happen to block a boom. If Guile goes for the sonic boom. Of course this is also the range where you can jump it. If you are if you're playing from a far range like that, Guile might be able to anti-air you. But at this at, at this close of range, he, you're gonna he's gonna have to take it. It's very risky for him to throw a boom from a range like that. But if he doesn't and he's just standing and blocking, you can just throw him or just do like move forward at him. So what happens if you block the boom? If you block a sonic boom from guy from range like that, yeah. If you block a, a sonic boom from a range like this, or generally if you block any sonic boom, guy will have way too much frame advantage. Basically, he's gonna have to tag you with a normal after it. And all you have to do is block the normal and now we have reset the situation. So let's have this happen again. But actually block it or something. But now we are back where we started. Where he just can do the boom. And you know, it, 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 you basically reset it. So what I wanted to say is, if you happen to block a boom, just respect his second normal. Because he's gonna do something. And the thing is, most of Guile normals are negative on block. I don't think he have any single normal outside of standing medium bunch and maybe the jabs that are actually plus. Everything else he have is negative. His, he have complete reliance on booms to stay plus. So that's one good thing that you have to realize. So if you ever have it to block a boom from range like that, just respect his second normal and then we had reset the situation. So as we were saying, when you are fighting from this range, uh, and this is something that is more conceptual, you have to understand that Guile, because of his nature being a charge character, most likely than not, he doesn't get big punishes on something like sweep. So if you are staying from a range like that, for example, and we did a sweep to Guile, most of the time he's gonna sweep us back. So we do something like this and he's gonna sweep us back. This is not the end of the world. Even if you eat the sweep, even if you go for the sweep and it get blocked and you got swept back, that's fine. Because if you happen to catch him like on the startup of a boom or something, now you had a corner carry and you have the okay. So this is okay. Like you get punished a little bit, but it's not awful. It's not the worst case scenario. It's not the worst that can happen. Another thing, and this is actually really important, if you play a character that has a good sweep, Guile's sweep is fast, but it doesn't have that much range. So you can actually, and this is something that you will see that Fudu was doing a lot to Daigo in their match. You can maybe sweep something like this, and then you will punish him for trying to sweep you back. Because from range like that, Guile doesn't really have a good punish. The best thing he can do is either go for the sweep or I think maybe like a... And this is also gonna depend on Nash, honestly. Maybe it's a back heavy bunch or something. Maybe that will punish, we'll see. But I doubt it. Yeah, that's a punish. That's, that's not too bad. Even if he does, maybe you can actually beat this somehow. Yeah. You can get something like that. So, like we were saying, from range like this, you can threaten the walk-up throw, you can threaten the jump. If you have a sweep like that, you can do that. Even if you get the crush counter sweep, amazing. If you don't, it's not the end of the world. Unless you're doing it like awfully close, where he will get something to a flash kick uh, or something to a sonic boom and get a meaningful punish. Most likely, you are getting some, you know, you're getting in, into a not so bad situation. It's not that bad. I think this is, honestly, I, do, I think sweeping him from ranges like that it's kind of low risk. It's not that bad. Understand is when to jump on Guile. Um, if you block a light boom like this, you can jump the next boom. Like if I block the sonic boom, 
if you jump in the following one, he will be able to throw it out and flash kick you every single time. So if you jump a light sonic boom, if you block a light sonic boom from here, just wait and block it out. Just block it out. Or maybe he just blocks the light here and then neutral jumps this. You cannot jump after blocking a light sonic boom. He have way too much frame advantage at this point for you to do that. So if you block a light sonic boom from the range like this, I would recommend just either neutral jump up the second one or just wait it out or just block the second one. But blocking a light sonic boom from a range like that, never jump after that. That's a free anti-air for him. So that is the very first tip. The second tip is when you are attacking Guile and let's have him... Let's have him v reversal here. Uh, uh. So when you are attacking Guile, a lot of Guile player will like to v reversal. I would always recommend going for the quick rise here because you want to stay closer to him. If you do a back rise, if you do this, you are back to full screen again. And the whole idea about why I don't want us to stay full screen is because when you're full screen versus Guile, now he can do the V-Skill boom and he can do the Light Punch Sonic boom. And this will basically allow him to move closer to you. Now he's just going in. And you, of course you don't want that because Guile can be very oppressive once he is close to you. So after blocking a light punch boom, long jump, and after a V reversal, try to quick ride. And now I just wanted to give you some final thoughts on how you're fighting against him and another two small tips that you might find helpful. Of course the entire idea is to get Guile to the corner and just, you know, go in on him, right? So... Some characters have anti-fireball tools and it might not be a bad idea to try to use them after a crouching media bunch in particular. So let's have Guile do something like that. As you can see with someone like Laura, you can get through that with a Zahir EX move. Not every character has that, but if you do, you know, that's really great for you. Uh, Kami can, like, a lot of DB character can DB, you know, etc, etc, etc. So that's not too bad. And another thing that you can do is try to use your V skills of, or V trigger offensively. So, or V reversal, I mean. So if you block something like that, you can get the V reversal and now he's in the corner and you're gonna have to guess. This also works if he does row boom. So if he does something like a row boom like this when in the corner, you can always also uh, V-skill that, or V-reversal that. And now you have a knockdown, you go for the grab or whatever, and you know, just try to use your V-reversals offensively to get a knockdown. So... I hope you at least find this video hopeful and informative. Like I said, there, sadly there is no easy answer, there is no magical answer to what Guile is doing. It's a lot of calculated risks that you have to take and that's why I was saying that it's very hard to beat Guile consistently in a long set because the way you have to play it is you're gonna have to sweep, you're gonna have to jump, you're gonna have to try to dash you're gonna have to try to take risks when there is a window for them to work so if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe or share uh, I, it's all really really helps and Please tell me which characters you would like me to cover next, and as always, thank you for watching and stay safe.